last section, doggies. And probably the one that you're the most like, dude, but tell me how I'm going to get a grade in your class. That's cool. We've actually talked about two pieces of it. We've talked about the flipping clickers that you are going to be expected to come to class and clicker in. So you need to have a clicker. It's 5% of your grade. Relax. If you miss a class, it is what it is. It, I mean, it's a, ultimately a small percentage of the points, but it keeps you engaged and make sure that you actually come to class. Last semester I had a physio group and they were awesome. It was so fun to have this group of people who were, they were incredibly engaged. And we would often spend a good portion of the class just in question and answer. Um, I had no doubt at their engagement, their performance in the course on the assignments and on the exams and on the comprehensive final exam indicated that clearly they were understanding the material. And I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that we had such um, fruitful conversations during class time. The clickers, I'm rewarding you for attending class. I'm just giving you some points for being there and participating and hopefully having your brain on during uh, that experience. Um, similar to the clickers in that you show up, you get the points, 5% of your grade is based on your lab participation. Did you show up? Did you stay the whole time? And if you leave at the end of lab after doing everything that you've been asked to do, um, I give you a check off, like done, cha-ching, done. Um, if you, because it's free points for being present and breathing, if you're like, oh, then I don't even have to think about the labs, you will be sad because the labs are applications of the lecture content. And the lab content in physio makes up the bulk of the external brain exams in physio because the external brain exams are applications and the labs provide us opportunities for application. So um, you might just want to keep that in mind. Building your external brain to incorporate the lab data and experiments, that is something that you should be doing. It's almost like your external brain. You know, in anatomy, the external brain is like, this is what I'm learning and I need to remember all this stuff. In physio, it becomes this is what I'm learning and I need to remember all this stuff. But this is the lab experiment that we did. These are the data we collected. And this is our analysis of the data set and how we ended up um, drawing conclusions. So that is a process that you might want to keep in mind during lab because it doesn't look like labs are worth very much, but ultimately when you consider the exams, they are. You got to have external brain. We've already talked about how that thing works. Um, we will have four external brain exams. They happen on every day that we have a midterm, and we can decide when and where we want to have those. Do we want to have the external brain first or second? We'll work that kind of stuff out. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Every week you have an online quiz. The online quiz is open from, I don't know, like Thursday morning until, um, no, it'll probably be open on Wednesday since our class is over on Wednesday, and it'll stay open until Sunday night at 11.59. If you are waiting until Sunday night at 11.58 to do your online quiz, I'm going to just not feel sorry for you at all when things happen to mess it up for you. I don't accept any late quizzes. Um, they, you get to take them twice. You can use any resource except for another human, like knock yourself out. You can use your book. You can use the Internet. Like, and you can even post questions in Canvas. And if you use your classmates through Canvas and I'm watching that process, like, dude, that's fantastic. Like, please do. The purpose of the quizzes is to give you an opportunity to check yourself and practice the kinds of questions that you'll find on the exams. Which brings us um, to not the integration project. We'll talk about that in a second, but to the midterm exams. There are four midterm exams throughout the semester, and I'm going to show you, I think, my little, um, yep, here it is. 
This is the course schedule that specific to physio that keeps you on task. This is the topic. Here's the module that you're going to find the information in. Here's our exams. What you will see here is that you have four exams with one exam right before the comprehensive final exam. And that is done on purpose because um, I want the comprehensive final to truly be comprehensive, which means it should include the content on the midterm exam. I'm going to allow you on this comprehensive final to um, earn some, gosh, I wonder how I put it in the syllabus because the physio final is different than my other finals. Um, uh, extra credit points as described in class. That means I don't have to know what I'm talking about yet. Awesome. So the final in physio is a, um, what? It's like a national exam on anatomy and physiology. And if you're like, oh, yikes, relax, because the way that I'm doing it is that your performance on the exam, we can talk about it in all the detail that you're going to want to know this in, but your performance will earn you extra credit points that get added into your midterm exam category. So how you do on that comprehensive anatomy and physiology exam will um, be your one and only ever chance at extra credit in a Riggs class. All right, I know that, that that's super vague and that you're probably all like hyperventilating and stuff out there. Don't. It's all good. It's like it's going to do nothing but help you. If you took anatomy a long time ago, then like you're going to want to review some anatomy if you want those extra credit points. But you were supposed to take anatomy like before this. It's a prereq. So you're, you're good. Like the, it's, it, and it isn't, if I were making it into like your score on this exam, is your final exam score, like it's not. I'm giving you extra credit for your performance. So um, we can talk about that further. I saved the best for the last. Aw. It's the best in Wendy land, and it's a um, push for students, and it's the integration project. It is a semester-long project on a topic, a physiological topic of your choice. I will offer you a great deal of feedback on whether I think your, pro your topic is a good topic or a bad topic. Uh, and it is, I have a whole handout for you on how to do this thing. It's an amazing project, and my standards are really high, which is good. You're glad for that, and you get to explore something that is interesting and relevant to you, and like I said, there's an entire handout on it. I want you to notice on the, the schedule that we start having benchmarks, integration project benchmarks, after the first exam. <clears throat> Wait a second, where are they? There they are. So you will also notice this is the lab column, and there are actually multiple days in lab where we work on the integration project, where you have opportunities to come and say, Riggs, I don't get this, and how do I connect this, and what's your thinking on that, and can you review this, and I will, we can talk about it and work through issues. The benchmarks, there are 10 of them, and they're designed to keep you on task. It ends up being about a benchmark a week. Yeah, I think it's exactly a benchmark a week after the first exam. And uh, they're worth five points each. Your final research paper, which is the end game, like your, your end result is this research paper, is 100 points. So. The benchmarks are small change, and I grade them very critically. And the number of sweat and tears and blood that I have witnessed as a result of my critical grading is ridiculous because there's such a small component of your overall grade that I sort of want to just knock you out when you start hyperventilating about it. I add points to your grade, number one, to reward you for staying on task. Number two, because if I didn't give you points for it, you wouldn't do a good job. And 
I know that. So I'm willing to do all this extra work to keep you on task and make sure that you're putting in a good solid effort. That said, when you get a crappy grade on a benchmark, your response, your initial response might be, oh my God, Riggs is insane, I hate her. That's fine, have that response somewhere, not around me. Your second response is, holy crap, I am so glad that I got a two out of five of 40% on the benchmark and not on my final paper. Thank you, Riggs, for giving me this kind of quality feedback to help me make a better final paper, which is worth 100%, I mean 100 points, which ends up being 20% of my total final grade. Can you tell the kinds of conversations I've had with students in the past? Some of the benchmarks are checkoffs. They're really straightforward and easy, like the, um, gosh, the number of checkoff, never mind, I'm not even going to say that. We'll have lots of conversations about the integration project, particularly the topic that you pick on this day and before um, the benchmarks start being due. And there, once I get Canvas all up and going, you'll totally have all that stuff available to you so you can check it out and, like, plan ahead for how awesome you're going to be. And this semester, you're going to be so excited, too. I have examples for you. So I have some stuff that you can look at to um, know what to expect. Wow, are we finished? Did we do all the assignments? I think so. I've been recording all day. I'm done now. And I can't wait to see you. Most of you I've seen before, and some of you I will meet you for the first time, and I'll be excited about that, too. Okay.